Hi, everybody. We're in Smashville, the Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. The Predators ready to claw and scratch on the ice tonight. Two teams looking starved for a win, and we are set to go. The Predators are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. Drives to the paint! That one misses and will play on! Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you've got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Slides the puck over. Trying to get 2-2 with it and loses possession. Zegras finds an opening, and you know that he's going to try and take it. This time just gets a little too fancy and loses the puck. Denies it in front. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. Here's a change. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And they keep the pressure on. Just a simple pad save made by Gibson. The Ducks win the defensive zone faceoff. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Spectacular open ice hit. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. Quick pass to Nyfist. Through center along the wing. Solid check to slow him down. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. The Ducks are going to be short-handed because of a tripping call. The Predators get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert. Move that puck quickly and open up lanes. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. And that's picked off by Carrick. Looking to set up offensively. Moves it quickly over to Nova. Tricky here and surprise the goaltender. Well, that's exactly what he did, James. I mean, this is a tough one for the goaltender. It's gonna make the highlight reel not in a good way. And he winds up with a goal. Nashville's drawn first blood here in this one by getting on the board first. Uh, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want to play with the lead, not behind it, James. And now it's what they do next. They've created some energy for themselves. Now it's about continuing to attack and find the back of the net again. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Snaps it over! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We are all tied up in this one. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Anaheim's got it across the line. Sends a pass over. And he takes the feed. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Center and feed! And that doesn't connect. Sends it over to Parsonen. And now he moves it to Sissons. What a steal in his own end. Into the offensive zone. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Tries to get the puck to Korianov. Nashville's got it along the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that goes off a body. Quick feed to Sissons. And he says no! No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. The Ducks looking against the half wall. Here he is on the backhand. And a great read to turn that play aside. 
This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. The Predators are getting penalized for slashing. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Can't hang on after that hit. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Tosses it on to Strom. On it critically important. That's a tough one to take, James. I mean, you're in a power play. It's a tie game. You have to manage the puck, and you have to create scoring chances, not give them up. The Predators take the lead after that last goal, and Cheryl, what do you wait for here now? Do you, uh, do you anticipate the counter punch or do you look for the continued push attack? Well, you got to continue to push attack. There is way too much runway left in this game, James. You're in the first period. You got to find a way to continue to compete, continue to maintain the momentum and put your opponent on their heels. Well, everyone has a role in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Well, four-on-four -four is similar to three-on-three. -three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That two-on-one's all over. Here's a short pass to O'Reilly. Nashville's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Great reach with the stick by McTavish. Period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. Sends the pass over. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Grabbed along the board by Shen. O'Reilly's so effective in the O-zone. I mean, he knows how to put the puck to the net. He got the go ahead. Here's a chance! Feeds it across. Oh, it denies him on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. There's the horn, still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? behind in this game, James, because they simply haven't had the puck. they got to do a better job of closing on it and holding it when they get it. Slides it across to Fowler. Great reach with the poke check by Fabro. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing and finding a way to get to the puck. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're peaking. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Novak's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Nashville's won the faceoff at center. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Puck slid down the ice. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. This power play has been lackluster, James. They haven't even registered a shot. You have to find a way to get in and create some motion. They're making really easy on the PK. 
keeps possession. Saros with an incredible desperation save, James. And now that his team can get up the ice and create some offense, he can get some much-needed rest. I think the gas tank is empty. And a strong effort on that play. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. And a great job by the shorthanded unit those last few moments as the penalty expires. Now that power play really wasn't effective at all, James, and coach won't be happy. A lot of possession time, but it correlated to nothing. You have to create some motion and be quick to be able to open up seams and lanes to the net. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We've got a 2-1 game. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Way too much congestion blocks that. Anaheim's moving it into the offensive end. Shot! Here's a shot! And there's a glove save on the play. Saro's mobility is what helps him shut down those cross-crease chances so well, guys. His post-to-post -post zone ability is that movement to stay with the play and make the stop. Moves it to Kalor. Right in front with the shot. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. Picked up along the wall by Carrier. Steps into the offensive end. And that's knocked away by Nyquist. Puts it on net. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Big time save. Oh, my goodness. Now throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Gains the zone through the middle. Rocks him on the play. And he takes the feed. Moves it to the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! Great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. The Predators have extended their lead to two here in the second, and I mean, at this rate, they're probably due for more, Cheryl. They've been dancing out there, James, and they've been manipulating their opponent all over the ice, and they've had a handle on the possession, and they've been getting a lot of opportunities, and it's a reason why they're up by a few goals. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. The Ducks play it along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Takes the feed from the left side. A chance in front! Oh, he comes up with a stop! Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling, and out willing everyone around you. The Predators are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and a lead in the second. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to Labushkin. Quick shot! Oh, wow! What a pad saved by Seros. Here in the late going of the frame, the Predators have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Sissons takes possession right off the draw. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. And he takes the dish. Handles the pass. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Denies him with the pad. Oh, James, I just love how he created that scoring chance. I mean, he saw a little bit of ice, and he knew exactly how to take it. Because of his edge work and how his hands can keep up with his feet, he just couldn't finish. Handles the puck from the left side. Gets the tip. Wins the bill off the post. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. Are you ready for your walk down memory lane? Then join us for our fantasy camp. Play hockey with your Time to drop the puck here in period number three. Well, the moment of 
shirt for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Well, this is just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find the puck because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. Nashville's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game, and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night, and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence, and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. A chance from along the wall! And he was locked in on that save as play continues. Gibson's got to make more stops like that, James. He's got to reset the momentum for his team. I mean, it's not about what happened or the present moment. It's about the next save, and that's the key contributor to reset this team and get them moving forward. Quick pass to Forsberg. There's a shot, and that's turned aside by Gibson. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The Predators have been the busier team offensively, and as a result, they lead it big time here in this third. Henrique's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. The Ducks take it across the blue line. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. The Predators are being called for tripping. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. An opportunity to right the ship here on the power play after giving up that shorty earlier. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denies the shooter on that play. And the puck leaves the zone. Takes it at center. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Shuts him down with the final last stop. when they're out there. Another shorthanded goal. The Predators continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Fires it into the offensive zone. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Handles the pass from the right wing. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Nyquist standing up, ready to go. The Ducks certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. And that's a tough one for the power play team here, James, giving up a shorty on that one. What matters now is what you do next. Reset, refocus, and attempt to get back in this one. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Yossi's got it in the defensive end. From off the wall and onto a stick. Let's get the call. I always hated to play in these games. It just came out flat and nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. the face-off circle, they'll send the man advantage unit out again. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man has it been effective. Throws it in. Nashville's got a hold of it against the wall. Can't keep a hold of it. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Shot! Save me with the pass. Slick feed. Jostling for the puck, but still moves away. Dostal is going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Carrick 
Just recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Predators win it. Moves it quickly over to Sissons and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Forsberg's looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Carrick's got the puck along the wing. Shot! And that's turned aside with the blocker. Saros decides to slow it down and hangs on for the whistle. Well, he's been under siege all night, James, and he has made some huge saves, but he reads the temperature of the game right there and elects to hold on to get the face off. The Predators have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period of big. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable, and certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute, but didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Into the offensive end right up the middle. The Predators get a hold of the puck in their own end. Nashville's playing it through the neutral zone. Quick feed to Nyquist. And he keeps that one out as he gets a piece of the ball. the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. The Predators are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. The Predators get a hold of the puck along the boards. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Here's a chance! Good positioning there to knock it away with the glove. The Predators are across the line and into the offensive end. And that's deflected off someone in front. Gudas plays the puck. Here's a short pass. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. play in every corner of the game tonight. They really did. It was like they were playing the game of keep away. Remember, remember those when you were young, James? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they held the puck and they had the work to do with it, but they found a way to create opportunities because they worked hard away from it as well. No one could get it off their stick. Great night of action on the ice, and I can't wait to do it again. I know you can't wait either. So we'll see you next time, and we'll see you back.